Hello, welcome to Luno Sweet Creations. For Carnival, I thought of making a 3D cake. I hope you like it. You will need six layers of 10 cm or four inches diameter cake. I've made mine with the rainbow colors, but you don't have to. The main thing is that it should be around 20 cm or eight inches high. I have also used frosting in several colors, but you also don't have to. Stack and cover three layers of cake with buttercream or ganache, smooth the buttercream and place this mini cake in the fridge. Separately, stack the other three layers of cake also with buttercream or ganache, but this time don't cover it with the frosting. Place it in the fridge or in the freezer if you are in a hurry like me. So now while I wait for the second cake to set and be hard enough for me to carve it, I will give a second coat to the first cake. I now get my second cake from the freezer or fridge and measure the top to find the precise middle of it, marking it with a toothpick. From there I start carving it until I get a cone shape. I cover it then with a buttercream or ganache and place it in the fridge again for the frosting to harden. It's time to prepare the gum paste and make the 10 stripes. Measure the height of the cake and cut stripes that size or a bit longer. Apply them directly, no need for water or glue here. With a ruler, make sure every single stripe is straight and if not, straighten it immediately before applying the next one. Once the entire side of the cake is covered with those stripes, trim the excess on the upper edge and place the cake in the fridge while you work on the top part of the tent. For that you also have to measure the height of that cone and cut long triangles the same height or a tiny bit longer. Apply them the same way you did with the stripes and don't forget to straighten them with a ruler or anything straight before applying the next one. Once it's done, place it on top of the other cake, the stripes don't have to match. Now roll some white sugar paste and cut a garland or frill with a frill cutter. You might need one or two of those depending on the size or circumference of your cake. Apply some water and glue the frill around the seam between both cakes to hide it. I needed just one extra piece so I applied it at the back of my cake. With a round cutter, mark where you will want to make the tent entrance and cut it out. Roll some black sugar paste precisely that size and fill the gap with the black cut out piece. Now roll out red sugar paste. Cut some rectangles a bit shorter than the height of that black tent entrance. You just have to fold it with an M or a W shape like I'm doing here and squeeze it on the top. Apply some water and attach both side curtains. Make two little ones, curve them slightly and apply them on the top between those two main curtains. Finish it by gluing a yellow star on each seam. Let's make now two circus drums by rolling two big chunks of blue sugar paste and flattening them on both sides. Cut small triangles in red and apply all along the sides of those drums. Roll out yellow sugar paste and cut four circles the same width as the drums and glue one circle on top and another on the bottom of each drum. Stick one drum on each side of the tent. On top of the tent stick a toothpick and use a wire thread between two straws, white and red striped, and the toothpick. And then stick one straw on each circus drum to fix them. Now cut some diamond shaped sugar paste pieces in blue, white and red and with some water glue them along the wire on both sides of the tent, folding them in the middle. Glue one of those turned to the side on top of the toothpick to look like a flag. Finish it by applying two flat balls on top of each straw to close those holes. I hope you like it, don't forget to subscribe my channel or put a like on my video and leave a comment if you'd like to incentivate me to keep making tutorials for you. Have a great carnival and see you next week!